I've got the magnetic ties on here and I've had people ask about how strong they are and somebody specifically said they wanted to see them being rolled on to see that they're tight enough. So I'm going to do that but a couple of things I want you to notice first. Um, these are really loose and they've kind of glommed together and I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to tighten it up now. Now that it's tightened up I can actually slide that out a bit so you can see. I'm going to actually separate them and they're going to stay, they'll stay separated now. So it is really important that you get them the right way so that they lie flat. So what you'll notice, they're all lying flat underneath the stick here. This is a shaft loom. Um, I showed it on a shaft because all my other videos have been on Ashford. So I just wanted to show you that it does work on a shaft as well. Although I think the older shafts have a dowel and that might cause some difficulties. I'm really, I'm really not sure. So I'm just separating them. You can see now that they've got tension on them, they are not sticking to each other. They're staying mostly, that one wants to move, but they're staying mostly well behaved. Sorry, my arm was in the way there. All right, so now I've got them all separated and I can actually start winding forward. So I'm just gonna unclamp here and I'm just gonna wind forward. Now I have no weaving on the loom right now, but with weaving on the loom, they're gonna hold even better. But I just wanna show you what's happening here. So as I wind forward, I want you to pay attention see if we can get right in there in between here so there's the the cloth bean and here's the warping stick these are flush they're flat between the two so that when I keep rolling they're gonna be squished in here and they're not gonna cause any trouble when I wind my cloth forward these will cause some troubles, but more than not. And so I'm just going to use cardboard warping sticks. I wonder if I have one handy here. I don't, but they're just cardboard warping sticks. They're about one inch long. They'll run the full width of the weaving. And I will just add them in there. And, uh, and they will cover up any bumps left by these. So there, you can see that it's going to work. It's gonna give me a great shed. I'm not gonna have that loose lower shed. Although I do see that this one, this one section is a bit loose and I might have to tighten that knot up a smidge. But if I had my warping sticks in there to spread the warp, it probably would be okay. So I hope that is helpful. Um, I'm going to have to buy some new um, magnetic uh, cables because my, I don't have enough. The ones that I bought originally that Amazon from Amazon, they're not available anymore, so I'm going to buy some new ones and I will try them out and pass the link on to you.